Hey guys, it's Chris Anderson here. Um, I wanted to show you something really cool here. Um, Dave just reached out to me uh, a couple days ago and he would, wanted me to try out Bulkless Builder, and I did. Um, when it first came out, I was actually in Micro Hustle with Dave, um, the uh, private group that Nate runs, and he posted it, and I didn't quite understand the product when I first saw it. It was like I had an opportunity to get it real, real cheap, and I was like, kind of like, eh, I didn't think it was that good. But then Nate or uh, Tyler showed it to me when we were um, out in Denver, and I really got a feel for what it could do. And then I was like, oh, that's amazing. So if you have not seen Bulkless Builder, I'm going to show you guys Bulkless Builder right now and show you some of the things it can do and some of the applications you can do. So um, Walmart, you know, everybody sources Walmart. So we come here, we got, you know, these, um, these clothes out there doing. Now, with Bulkless Builder, I have it installed. The documentation for it is really good, but with these like w w warehouse closeouts, okay, with Bulkless Builder, what I can do here is I hit my Alt key and then I can right click on these home, home improvement. Okay, I don't want to sell furniture. Uh, I'll sell f that. Uh, the patio and garden is furniture. I'll sell jewelry and clothing. Baby, I'll sell. Okay, um, uh, let's say I'm not approved in auto, so I can skip over that. I'll do electronics, I'll do crafting and sewing, and I don't want to sell mattresses. So now, instead of wasting my time, like, you know, I could just throw this URL up here into TA, uh, set it to run, there's 25 pages, you know, that's great. That's, that's not an efficient use of my time. If I'm not approved in automotive and I don't want to sell furniture, I'm going to end up scanning stuff that I can't possibly sell. So now I come up to Bulkless Builder here, I right click, I add these nine highlighted links, okay, and I can download these links, and now I have a CSV file ready to go for Walmart.com, okay, that's done, okay, now I don't know how many pages there are for these, so I'm just going to throw in default 10s, okay, and... I now have myself a complete um, bulk list ready to go. Now, I don't know what this is here. I, maybe I'll ask Dave what that is. That's SEP. Uh, I might not know. Uh, that might be a thing that uh, is is okay. But, um, you know, this has saved me so much time. Let me show you another really cool application for this that I think a couple people have overlooked. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, yep, okay, this works. Um, so Kohl's here, you guys know, I'm pretty notorious for selling Kohl's. Um, I can come here to the shoe section of Kohl's, shop by department, uh, shoes. Okay. So brand restrictions. I know we all hate them, but let's look here. Um, features sports brands. I can just select the ones I can sell. Okay. And sell these. I don't sell a lot of ASICs. I can sell some of them. Columbia, I can sell. Keds. All of these I can sell. So if you're restricted in New Balance, I'm not restricted in New Balance. And you're restricted in Nike. You know, I could, let's assume here that I, uh, you know, I'm a beginning seller. Um, I'm pretty much restricted in everything. Uh, I think A2 is not as easy to do. Chaps is easy. Columbia is easy. I think Keds, Crocs, I think is gated that there. Okay, uh, Puma should be good, Reef, Skechers, Stride Right should be good, and Vans are all restricted. So instead of having to search all of these shoe brands, I now can just make this list of the brands that I am not restricted in, okay? And that is so powerful because it makes my TA usage so much more efficient, and we now have this bulk list that... I can copy and paste. Now, if I wanted to throw the uh, Walmart bulk list in there too, uh, you know, I could combine these together. Okay. And now I have this huge bulk list of just stuff that I want to sell. Okay. And can sell. And I'm interested in selling just like that. And now I can load this over into TA. And I'm done. 
You know what I mean? So I didn't realize how this worked when I first saw it. And, you know, now that I've used it and Tyler showed it to me and, you know, Tyler was just ranting and raving about how good it was. Well, not ranting and raving, but he told me how good it was. And when Tyler tells me how good something is, it's usually pretty good. So um, that being said, you know, check this out. Um, there's a sale going on on it until Sunday. Um, I think the sale's 20 bucks off, even when it's full price. Just the amount of time you save on this to make a bulk list like this and load it right into TA is so worth it. It's especially good. Like, I've tried it on a couple different websites that I'm not going to show you guys because they're like my little secret sauce websites that uh, my secret replen websites. But this has worked on multiple websites for me that I was surprised it worked on. And I made really fast work of bulk lists. And there's some bulk list websites like I've gotten an XPath made, but there's no bulk list for it. So I can throw together a bulk list like that with it. Okay. So check this out. Um, this has saved me hours in just the few days that I've been using it. Um, it's very, very worth it for me. So anyway, guys, you have a great day. Good day sourcing. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.